Signal acquisition is a key aspect of testing a signal. There are three main methods of acquiring a signal via different triggering techniques. These include auto, normal, and single trigger. Auto trigger is a triggering technique that forcibly samples a waveform with or without a signal. Normal trigger will only trigger when a waveform passes a given threshold, and single trigger will trigger once the waveform passes a given threshold, and then will stop capturing a new signal. To demonstrate our three different signal acquisition techniques, I've connected a probe to the one kilohertz square wave being produced from the scope itself, and I'm going to toggle through the different sort of acquisition techniques. So the first one is auto. This is a great acquisition technique for capturing an unknown signal. One thing with auto is if the trigger threshold is off of the signal, like here, it will continuously trigger looking for that threshold to be caught, um, caught again. And it's going to basically appear as the signal is more or less blur, um, where it's just forcibly triggering. I'm going to roll this down now. And I'm actually going to move over to normal trigger over here. Just as a side note, you can change the trigger mode either via the button on the side of the scope or by selecting the different acquisition technique over here and your triggering technique. And then to show the difference between normal trigger versus auto trigger, I'm going to move the threshold again off the signal. And as you can see, it's going to hold state even though the threshold's been moved off. And I can move it back and I'll continuously trigger. Normal trigger is a great means to capture a known signal that you'd like to have a reliable trigger event occur. The last one is single. For this sort of trigger event, it's going to occur once, and then it's going to stop triggering, and it's basically going to hold state. This is a great means to capture a pulse, or the first part of a signal, or one specific instance in a signal. Basically what will happen is once a trigger event occurs, or it crosses the threshold, it's going to capture the signal, display it, and then it's going to stop capturing.